Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Thursday, July 11th. It's the fourth week in Pentecost and week one in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 18, verse 20 to 42. And Luke 24, verse 36 to 53. And please pardon the poor quality. Um, I have some technical issues with the lighting and um, in the RV in the camper. So uh, my apologies for that. And I ask you to please bear with. Now join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 66, part 2 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. If sin lay covered in my heart, while prayer employed my tongue, then you had shown me no regard, nor I your praises sung. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, O oh God most high, you rewarded me according to my righteousness. Alleluia. Psalm 18, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, O oh God most high. You have rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanliness of my hands, you have rewarded me. For I have kept your ways, and have not wickedly departed from you. For all your judgments were before me, and I did not put away your statutes. I was upright before you, and I kept myself from iniquity. Therefore you have rewarded me according to my righteousness according to the cleanliness of my hands in your sight. With the merciful you will show yourself merciful. With the upright you will show yourself upright. With the pure you will show yourself pure. And with the forthright you will show yourself forthright. For you will save the afflicted, but will bring down the haughty. For you will light my candle. You bring my light to my darkness. For by you I have run through a troop, and by you I have leaped a wall. Your way is perfect, your word is tried in fire, your buckler and shield to all that trust in you. For who is God but you? Who is a rock save our God? It is you that girds me with strength, and makes my way perfect. You make my feet sure-footed like the deer, and you set me upon high places. You train my hands for battle so that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. You have given me the shield of your salvation, and your right hand holds me up, and your gentleness has made me great. You have lengthened my stride under me, that my feet did not slip. I pursued my enemies and overtaken them. I did not turn again until they were consumed. I have wounded them that they were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet. For you have girded me with strength for the battle. You have subdued those that rose against me. You have given my enemies into my hands, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried to God, but there was none to save them. You did not answer them. And then I beat them small like dust before the wind, and I cast them out like dirt into the streets. Glory to you, source of all being eternal word in Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. God most high, you rewarded me according to my righteousness. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 24, beginning at verse 36. Jesus appears to his disciples. While they were talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified and thought they were seeing a ghost. He said to them, Why are you frightened? Why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet and see that it is I myself. Touch me and see, for a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. 
And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While in their joy they were disbelieving and still wondering, he said to them, Have you had anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of boiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. Then he said, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the Law of Moses, the Prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the Scripture, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day. And the repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and see, I am sending upon you what my Father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. And while he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, blessing God. Here ends the lesson. And now when the words our Savior taught us were bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, Holy is your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh, beloved God, grant us victory over sin and death. Never let us lose heart in the day of battle. For you are our rock and our salvation, and blessed are you forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.